Hey everyone, it's Laurie from Quick Scrap Craft. Welcome back to the channel. Today's process video is a way for you and me, obviously, to use up those leftover embellishments that you have when you purchase, um, whether you're purchasing a, a full collection or you're just purchasing a few papers and some embellishments, but you still have a bunch of embellishments left over, but no paper left over. So this is, this is how you can do it. And this was inspired by a layout that I saw in the winter 2022 issue of Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. There was a layout that Paige Evans did, and she basically punched out a bunch of hearts out of pattern paper, different sized hearts. And I think she had some heart gems or like heart shaped enamel dots to go along with the pattern papers. But the whole background was just these different these different patterns of hearts in different sizes and different colors. And then there was one photo in the center. And I thought, well, I could definitely do something like that. And I, I think first I thought, well, what shapes do I already have punched out of pattern paper? I could do something like that. And then I went, you know what? What would be even better is to use up a bunch of these Echo Park embellishments, stickers and chipboard pieces, and cut aparts and use them to create this this background. So it's not all the same shape, but it's still me creating a background using items that are not just paper. So I'm doing two photos for today's layout. Um, and I've cut them down to three by four size and matted them onto some yellow paper with white polka dots. And I chose these two photos because the Echo Park collection that I have, I can't remember what it's called, but it has a lot of sentiments in it that say things like tell your story, take note, noteworthy. And these were two photos that I had shared on my Instagram, which you can find that um, linked below. But I shared them on Instagram as a way to, to kind of say like, listen, this is what my body looks like now. It's not a before, it's not an after, it's just a right now. And like right now, this is this is me. And this is this is the body that I have. I need to nurture it, I need to feed it, I need to take care of it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I printed those out and decided to use them for this Echo Park collection. Now the background paper, I wanna say is pink fresh. And it had different triangles on it. If you watched my haul video for this month, I talked about how, oh, I might want to cut those different colored triangles and use them as triangles on a page. And instead, I've cut the, I've covered them up, <laughs> oh well, with some white um, cardstock that I cut down. I think I maybe cut like a half inch off two sides. I could have gutted that paper probably in hindsight, I should have. But at the time that I was making this, I wasn't thinking about that. So I do like how you can see the edge, the multicolored edge going around the white. And that's something that Paige's layout had. She had a white center with like a multicolor stripe that you could see around the edge. And I'm sure she was using all of her own American Crafts, Paige Evans for American Crafts papers. Um, obviously I'm using different things. So I've double matted the photos. There's the the yellow with the polka dots, and then I got had some green cardstock that I also matted them with, just to add a little bit of extra. Um, since there's not a whole lot of pattern paper on this, I just wanted there to be a little bit of something extra to really kind of make those these two photos pop. And they're going to be um, kind of off-centered, so I'm not doing them right in the center of the white cardstock. They're a little bit down and to the right and they're overlapping. And now basically I'm just kind of going through all of the pieces. Um, I pulled a lot of pieces in advance, but I, I will end up kind of going back through some of the extras and, and adding as I, you know, see, see fit where they should fit. Um, I do, I will say I didn't use up all of the embellishments for on this layout. I did still have more. And of course, you'll see probably more of those in future scrapbook process videos and my layout share that's coming up soon. Um, but I, I'm kind of taking as many as I can and just sticking them down. I've got cut aparts that I did ink the edges of, especially that one with a typewriter because it's on white, a white background with on the white cardstock. It just needed to stick out a little bit more. And then I'm just kind of 
finding pieces and putting them down where I think they should go. There's not a whole lot of strategy here. It's kind of just like, oh, I like this. It would fit here. So let's put it there. Oh, this one might look good here. And then, okay, I've got a small space here. So I need something small to go in that space. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. I thought it was, um, I, I thought it was really fun just to take all of these embellishments and, you know, normally when I use embellishments, I try to group them into threes and I try to make embellishment clusters, but this was total, something totally different, a different way to use the embellishments that I hadn't really, I've never really done before. Although I will say, um, inspired by Chamel, I have done layouts where, I've taken embellishments, stickers and, and whatever, and I've created um, like a big circle and the photos kind of go in the circle as well, but the, the rest of the embellishments kind of create a, a wreath um, that the photos are part of. Or um, the, you create a circle and there are embellishments that create the circle and then you put things, all the embe more embellishments in the center of the circle. Um, I'm sure that somewhere... Somewhere on this channel, I have a process video that shows me doing that. But those those are things that I've seen Chamel do, and I have attempted those a few times as well. So that's really fun. You could do something taking a, a page from Paige Evans' layout with the hearts. You could take embellishments and create a big heart shape uh, on your on your background and then fill in the heart shape with the extra embellishments and the photos that could be something too so kind of merging both what Chamel does and this Paige Evans layout that uh, inspired me from the magazine I am trying my hardest to go through all of my old SCT magazines because I have a new one um, so I want to get to that one as well but I'm trying my hardest to go through all of the old pages that I have dog-eared and um, and really take inspiration from as many of those as I can before I move on to the new the new issue. If you don't have the new issue, you can get it from scrapbook and or you can get it from scrapbook.com. Um, if you make another purchase along with it, it's free. Otherwise, I think it's like seven dollars. I know they're not making as many. Um, I don't think they're making as many. Uh, issues as they were. They used to do one for each season and now it seems like spring and summer are together. So I don't know if they're only doing two and combining like fall and winter or if those two are still uh, standalone seasons. It's been a long time since I've gotten one of their magazines. I don't think I got any in 2023 to be quite honest with you. So I don't really know what they've decided to do. But the one I have now is spring summer 2024. So that's the latest. I think you can also find them online too. If you go to the SCT magazine website, um, I think they have digital pages that you can look at. But I like to hold it in my hands and flip through it and just to kind of tear out the pages that inspire me and I save them in a folder so I can always like look back and get inspiration from something um, whenever I need to. So that's just a little fun thing. I also have a Pinterest board. Um, you can follow me on Pinterest. You'll get the links for that really soon at the end of the video as well. Um, so if you're on Pinterest, if you're on Instagram, please follow me. I'd love to connect with you there. And if you're watching this video and you're like, oh, I haven't subscribed yet, but I really, I enjoy watching this video, hit that like button. Um, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on other process videos and scrappy stuff throughout throughout the month. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know down below um, the ways that you have found to use up leftover embellishments and things like that. I would love to know if you've used a technique like this or if you've got some other um, piece of advice that you'd like to share in the comments. That'd be great. So what I did for some journaling is I took a piece, I, I want to say it was a, a cut apart or maybe it was just a piece of white cardstock, but I had this chipboard frame and I put the chip, chipboard frame on top of the paper and then I journaled on the inside of the frame. I need to get a new black um, marker, black pen marker, because the one I have, you could tell like the, the tip is, is pretty flat. So I'm not actually too thrilled with the way my handwriting looks as I was trying to write with this pen. But um, as I said, I need to get a new one. So that might be something for my next, uh, my next scrapbook call to get a new pen. But I kind of liked that the, the frame set the journaling apart and kind of made it stand out a little bit more. And then I just needed to find like just the right small piece to kind of fill in that white gap there in between some of the other stickers um, and embellishments. This one was a really fun one. 
Um, I mean, it came together pretty easily. As I said, there wasn't a whole lot of overthinking of where to put everything. I just kind of was like, this looks good here. This looks good here. I've got space for it here. And I really like the way there's all this different dimension from the chipboard pieces and the flat stickers. Um, I think that's mainly all I have. Oh, and the cut apart. So there was a lot of flatness with the cut aparts and um, the stickers, but then the chipboard embellishments, you know, added some extra dimension. Um, and of course, you got to do some splatters. I think I was using scattered straw. I think I used scattered straw, um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide, and Victorian Velvet because it sort of was a soft pink, and there's a little bit of soft pink. I thought the pink in this Echo Park collection was kind of soft pink. So both of those colors, it was like a soft yellow and a soft pink. Just a few splatters to make everything a little bit more fun, and that's pretty much going to do it. You're going to see some close-up photos to follow so that you can see things in like a little more detail. Don't worry if you get some splatter on your photo. It easily wipes off as long as you do it very quickly with a tissue and you'll have no problems. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope that you are inspired and try your hand at using up some leftover embellishments with this technique. I'll see you next time. Bye!